This is a short instructional video demonstrating how to use the track changes option in Word for the Macintosh operating system. If you use Windows, please look for the video Track Changes in Word on the same website. After submitting an electronic copy of your APA style manuscript to the Psych Lab for review, you will receive a revised copy in a return email. Upon opening that file, you will notice comments and corrections in the right margin. In order to get the most out of these revisions, this video will illustrate how to manipulate the settings in your Word for Mac program so that you can customize them to your preferences. You can also use track changes and comments to make revisions to your own or your peers' documents if you are collaborating on an assignment, so that you can keep track of your progress for the sake of discussion with your professor or classmates. Begin by clicking on the Review tab in the ribbon. Notice the three boxes on the left are Comments, Tracking, and Changes. You can turn Tracking on and off by sliding the button here. In the bottom right corner of the Tracking box, click on the arrow. And notice that you can control which revisions appear, individually or altogether, as well as whose revisions appear. Click on Preferences to customize how revisions appear in your document. This will make reading revisions much easier. By default, insertions and deletions are set to the same color, but each author's revisions will be in a different color. Because revisions usually include replacing words or punctuation, a more useful setting is to set different colors for insertions and for deletions. An intuitive setting it's a set red for deletions and blue for insertions. You can also change how they appear in the text. If there are punctuation changes, underlining those changes would prevent being able to see them clearly. So set the text effects to color only. Comments and formatting changes can be set to different colors, but red, blue, or black is enough to draw attention to them. In case you are ever unsure whether a change has been made in a particular line, a punctuation mark, for example, can be very small and difficult to see, notice that any changed lines will be marked with an outside border. You can choose a color, but black is fine. As long as you can see that something has been changed on that line, then you can look for the change. When you set your preferences how you like them, click OK. I will now make a few changes to this paper so that you can see what track changes look like while they're being made. Notice that the format is showing up on the right side of the paper in green. Notice that when we paste text or make any other additions, the new text will show up in blue. Notice that when deletions are made, they show up on the right margin in a red box, just as we set. Notice also that in the left margin, wherever a change has been made, a little black line shows up to the left of the text to let you know that changes have been made. Insertions, deletions, comments, and formatting changes all show up in the right margin in the boxes using the colors that we set ahead of time. Depending on your settings, these can all appear differently, so make sure to choose whatever feels most intuitive to you. Now that changes have been made to your document, you can choose whether to include or exclude these changes from your view. In the top right of the tracking box, you'll notice that the default is to show the final document, including any markups. To show your original document before any changes were made, select Original.
If you see in the right margin that a change has been made, but you can't quite tell what change was made, try switching between original and final views. You can click on Accept or Reject in the change box, but this would be plagiarizing the reviewer's work and you would not learn from your mistakes. Rather, view the revisions file and make changes to your own original work. And make sure to keep your APA publication manual right next to you as you work.